What's up, everyone? Today, we're going to talk about shoes. I know most drummers out there have pretty strong feelings regarding the footwear they use when they play the drums or lack of footwear. So today, I'm going to try out a whole bunch of different options and figure out what feels best for playing the drums in and what feels terrible to play in. Disclaimer, everything I'm about to say is strictly my opinion. Footwear is very subjective. Just because something feels most comfortable for me doesn't mean it's going to feel the most comfortable for you. So don't take what I say as like hard truth because it ain't. To give this experiment some order, we're going to start with naked feet and we're going to work our way up to the most restrictive footwear I have on hand. So I just got to pop my little shoesies off. And today we're rocking some Rubik's Cube disco socks, but these got to come off too. All right, I haven't played barefoot in many, many years. These pedals are friggin' freezing right now. I never liked playing barefoot anyway. I got really tiny feet and the pedals are usually cold and unforgiving. They're full of angular, hard metal bits. But let's see if I can still play without anything on my feet. All right, so that wasn't as terrible as I thought it would be, honestly, but I've played enough basement shows and bar gigs where the floor is all crusted up with old sticky spilled beer and like cigarette butts and sadness. I don't want any of that stuff touching the bottoms of my little feet. I don't have my drums at home, so I always have to put shoes on to walk to the studio space anyway, and by the time I get here, I, I don't know, I don't want to like take my socks and shoes off. Just kind of, I don't know, feels a little dirty or something but not wearing any shoes at all doesn't really seem to get in the way of my ability to play. I just don't really like how it feels. I'll give it a 2.7 out of 10. Next, we'll try some flip-flops. Why is there so much hair on these? I've never actually played in flip-flops before. I don't know why you would. I feel like since it's so loose and just kind of floppy that it'll almost get in the way, but let's find out. some weird embellished good times bad times groove type thing going on there but uh i hate flip flops i hate playing in them that felt awful yeah for the most part i was still able to do pretty much everything that i wanted to do but i definitely felt my toes trying to grip the flip flop to my foot and that just uh, i don't like that i'm gonna give this a 0.4 out of 10 next i'm just gonna put my socks on so we'll go socks no shoes i know this is a real popular way of playing Got my Rubik's Cube disco back on my feet. Oh, and another little thing that I don't like about playing without shoes. There's so many wood chips and small splintered bits all over the floor here, and they get stuck to the bottom of your feet, and they'll, they'll jab you a bit and get all snarled up in your socks. All right, socks, no shoes. Let's see how it goes. Socks only, not that bad. My biggest issue is I feel my feet slide around on the pedals a lot when I don't really want them to. I like having more traction, which just makes me feel more confident in what I'm doing. And lacking that confidence when you're playing is kind of a scary thing. I'll give socks a solid four out of 10. 
Next, I'm going to pop some sneakers back on. This is just an old pair of sneakers that I keep at the studio to swap into when I need something more heavy duty to get over here due to gnarly winter weather. It's just kind of like a all-purpose sneaker. Since these shoes are a lower profile, they kind of sit below my ankle, so I have this full range of motion still. They're not heavy, and they have rubber on the bottom, so they grip the pedals way better. I'm heavily biased towards playing with shoes. I've been playing exclusively with shoes on for a whole bunch of years now, so this is kind of my preference. I know I'm going to like this. So yeah, I like the lower profile sneakers. Feels like I could do pretty much anything that I want to while I'm wearing them. I'll give them a solid 9.3 out of 10. Next up, we got some high top sneakers. I just got these a couple weeks ago. They have a zipper on them, so you only have to tie them once. And then you never have to tie them again. You just use the zipper. It's so great. These shoes have a much higher profile, so they might restrict the ankle a little bit. Only one way to find out. These high top shoes definitely feel a little bit stiffer, but not in any way that impedes my playing. I'm going to give them an 8.6 out of 10. For classier occasions, you might not even be allowed to wear sneakers. So up next, we're going to try some dress shoes. I had to play wearing dress shoes a whole bunch with like high school jazz band, and I didn't really particularly like it because they usually have this huge sole on them. They feel almost like platform shoes, but let's see how they feel on the pedals. The extra rubber in the heel of these definitely feels a little strange at first. I would be able to get used to it, I'm sure, if I practiced a lot wearing these shoes. But let's be real, I'm probably not going to do that. Aside from that, I did feel pretty confident. Otherwise, I'll give them a 6.1 out of 10. Now time for something a little more heavy duty. I'm going to whip out this pair of boots. As far as boots go, these are on the lighter side. They're pretty comfortable to walk around in, and they don't extend halfway to my knee or anything like that, so I feel like I have a pretty good range of mobility. But let's see how they feel on the drums. My biggest issue with these boots, honestly, they're just pretty heavy. I can move my ankle around way better than I thought it would be able to, but the extra weight just gets quite tiring. But it actually feels a little bit more comfortable than the dress shoe, so I'm going to give it a 6.9 out of 10. Last but not least, we got the heavy duty snow boots. These things only come out when it is serious business outside. Actually, I wore these over here today because there's a literal ice storm happening right now. I can't imagine these are going to be any fun to play in, but we're going to find out 
in the name of science. All right, so my feet are locked and loaded in here. I could barely move my ankles. This is gonna be great. I gotta say, I could do way more wearing these boots than I thought I would be able to, but I'm convinced that it was a lot of luck because I can barely feel the pedals. There's just so much material separating my foot from the pedal. I just feel like I'm, I'm playing blindly almost. It's a very strange sensation. I can't say that I like it. These giant snow boots get a 3.77 out of 10. Sadly, I wasn't able to obtain a pair of high heel shoes for this video, but we can refer to Sheila E for that. Sheila E plays in stilettos all the time, and she absolutely kills it. I don't know how. I feel like my foot would be bound in a position that is not very conducive to playing on the pedals, but she makes it work for her, and that's all that matters. I highly encourage you to try out a whole bunch of different footwear options and see what feels most comfortable for you. Again, I'm a big advocate of playing with shoes on. I feel like I have a lot more control over the pedals and my feet just feel more protected from whatever dangerous environment in which they may find themselves. If you like what you saw in this video, check out my Patreon page. Your support grants you access to transcriptions for all my other lesson videos and follow me on Instagram at drummerhar to see more videos of my playing. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.